In this video, I will cover those Roman emperors who are, in my opinion, the best at ruling Rome, and who defended the empire best or conquered new useful provinces. Tell me in the comments which of my choices you believe are foolish, and which you think are good too. I will not cover any of the single emperors in any great detail, but many of them will be given their own view, uh, videos in the future, or already have videos now. I will include all emperors from Augustus to the Eastern Roman Emperor Constantine Paleologos, who was killed by the Ottomans. With that being said, I'll now begin. Number five is Heraclius, who ruled Eastern Rome from 610 to 641 AD. Now, you might be thinking that this is a foolish choice, as he lost much territory to the early caliphate. However, I believe that there was little way that he was ever going to be able to defend against them, and the defeats he suffered against them were not really his own fault, but rather a result of the strength of the commanders of the caliphate. I believe he was a great emperor because he inherited a dire situation against the Sassanid Persians, and uh, the great military victories he won against them make him a very great emperor and commander, with him facing terrible odds in the battles he faced against the Persians, who had a larger number of, superior, of numerically superior armies, and um, well, Heraclius often defeated all these armies in detail with great skill. Number four is Marcus Aurelius, who ruled Rome from 161 to 180 AD. I already have a video on him, so you can look at that for more detail, but I'll give a much shorter description here. He was a great emperor who fought good campaigns against the Germans and the Persians, whilst not overstretching the resources of the empire. He was, a, he was great at military command and ruled the Roman Empire in a just and stable manner. He was also a Stoic philosopher, and the way he lived, and the way in which he lived in general, was just very amazing. His reign didn't see any massive sweeping conquests, but that was because he understood, unlike some emperors such as Trajan, that such conquests would be foolish and would weaken the empire's frontiers. Number three is Aurelian who ruled between 270 and 275 AD. And I'm quite sure that most of you will know who he is, and will perhaps be annoyed by my choice of him. Not because he's a bad choice for this list, but just because everyone's always going on about him when they're talking about great Roman emperors. He was an emperor of the 3rd century crisis, and as such had a very difficult time. The empire was in splinters, with the Palmyrene Empire in Egypt and, and much of the East, and the Gallic Empire in all of Gaul and Britannia. Within only five years, however, this military genius and great ruler had completely destroyed both of these forces, reuniting an empire which, only five years ago, had been in disarray. Number two is Maiorian, a lesser known emperor who ruled during the very last years of the Western Roman Empire, and he ruled from 457 to 461 AD. It was the last years of the Western Roman Empire when he came to rule, and the empire was very much appearing to be dying. However, he was not about to give up. He defeated a vandal, uh, a vandal invasion of what was left of the Western Roman Empire, which was not very much by that point, and then set about it, it reconquering. He flew into Gaul, crushing all of the opponents of Rome, wheeled down into Spain, and crushed all of the enemies of Roman rule there too. After this, it was time for the reconquest of North Africa. This did not go so well. Roman political scheming would prove his undoing, as he was assassinated just as he was about to get the, his empire into a much stronger position. If he had not been killed so early, the Roman Empire in the West may have lived on for quite a bit longer. Now, for my top Roman emperor. In my opinion, it should be Justinian who reigned from 527 to 565 AD. He was emperor when the West was lost, but by employing great generals such as Belisarius to defeat first the Persians, and then all the kingdoms that had been set up in North Africa and Italy, reconquering Rome itself and bringing Rome back to great power. His one flaw was that he did not trust his generals enough, and often sacked Belisarius on suspicion of being so powerful that he might betray him which was a completely idiotic decision, as Belisarius was just about the most loyal man to have ever lived. My decision might be criticised on account of the fact that all his gains would be reversed soon after. 
Yeah, I do not believe this is his fault for stretching the empire thin, but rather the fault of his successors for losing the power he had gained for them. Well, this has been my list on the top five emperors. The next video will be coming soon, and in that video, I will give you a guide on how you, yourself, can become the next great ancient military general. For those of you who are worrying that I will do loads more top fives and want some normal history videos, I plan on making much more of those in the future. But for those of you who very much like this form of video, I will also keep doing more of these alongside those normal videos. For now, voilà et ave SPQR.